I am going to make a wheel turn around using the mouse pointer to move the wheel and I'm going to do this in a RenPy game. I have a couple of images that I am going to use. I have a background image and I have 10 images of the wheel. Each image turned a little bit compared to the others, well, 36 degrees to be exact, making for a full 360 degree turn. For the images of the wheels, I have started with the first image, made a copy and turned copy 36 degrees, and then made a copy of that and turned the copy an additional 36 degrees and so on. Each generation have a bit of loss of quality and the last image and the first image clearly have a difference in the quality. 10 images for the full turn might be on the low side. More images would have made for a smoother turn of the wheel. But for this demonstration purpose, this will do fine. To make this program we need a script and I will start that off with a screen. I don't really need a screen for making inputs in the game, but I will use this to be able to put some output on the game screen. This will help me to check that the script is doing the things I want it to do. The game starts with label start. We put up the background and we start the screen by show screen. We then go to a label rotator and this is going to be the main place where things will be happening in this program. For now we only show one of the images of the wheel at the middle of the game screen. We will have a pause of 0.2 seconds and then jump back to the label rotator. This will create a game loop. At this point it is at 5 frames a second. We would usually want to have more frames per second, but uh, to start off it will do. When we play the game as far as we have come now, we will see that we have our background, we have the wheel, and the background provides an area where we will have input from the mouse pointer to rotate the wheel. We can also see coordinates for the mouse pointer showing up in the top left corner. This far, this good. In the script I now have added a function called inCircle. This function checks the distance between two points and if the distance between those points are smaller than the distance given as an argument to the function, then the function returns true. If the distance is larger, then it returns false. This function will check out a area formed as a circle. To use this function we need to import the math library. To get input from the mouse pointer, the position of the mouse pointer, I'm using rempy get mouse pos. To start with I had that line under the screen. I have now moved it to the label rotator because I'm going to use the position in the label. What I am doing under the label is to check for two areas. One area is the area of the wheel and one is the area of the circle around the wheel. By comparing those two values I can see if the mouse pointer is completely outside the circle, if it is inside uh, the circle of the wheel, or if it is in the zone between those two areas. And that is where we want to have it when we are going to rotate the wheel. I have a, a string variable that I change depending on if the mouse pointer is inside the zone or outside it, and that will be shown in the screen. 
when we try out the game with this with the additions to the script we can see that the program is doing what it should do. The program can understand if the mouse pointer is inside the zone or if it is outside it or if it is too far in, that is over the wheel. So now we have the basic four for knowing if the mouse pointer is in the area where it can operate the rotation of the wheel. Next we need to know the angle between the middle of the wheel and the coordinates of the mouse point. So we can use those two positions and a little bit of mathematics that the math library will help us with. I get the position as degrees in a float value that I store in a variable called turn degree. This value is uh, shown in the screen as a text string, though turned into an integer, so we don't get a lot of decimal numbers. We only need the whole number to see that things are working. When we try the script, we can see that uh, the program is doing what we want it to do. We get a feedback of the degree between the mouse pointer coordinates and the middle of, of the wheel image, we are still on the right track. OK, now we need to put all the pieces together. First I will define the images for the wheel using a family name or a tag. When I do that, Rempy will take care of hiding a previous image of the wheel when I am showing a new image of the wheel. We will now, when the mouse pointer is in the zone, show the image that corresponds to the angle stored in the variable turn degree. And if the mouse pointer is not in zone, the first image of the wheel will be shown. So let's see if we can rotate the wheel by moving the mouse pointer. Uh, I have here also turned up the number of frames per second by lowering the pause in the loop to 0 0.02. So we now have 50 frames per second. I think this has turned out reasonably well. There are, of course, a lot of things that you could add to this, but as far as the basic function of rotating the wheel, I'm quite happy with this. So, for now, this will be all. Bye!